Well, two murder suicides in Harris County in 24 hours. Both cases have similar tragic details. As the number of domestic violence deaths increase in our area, experts are asking the public to be aware and be helpful. Fox 26's Sherman DeSalle joining us live tonight with some good information. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, Caroline. Jonathan, recognize, respond, and refer. These are the three things that one therapist says people should be doing for their loved ones who are dealing with trauma, and they want them to do it before it gets too dangerous or deadly. Acts of murder-suicide are not acts of devotion. They are acts of desperation and perhaps acts of depression. 11 murder-suicides happen every week across the U.S., Clinical social worker and therapist Chow Nguyen says Houston makes up one-fifth of that number. It is deadly. It is serious. It is something that all of us should have a wake-up call to. In North Harris County, deputies say a mother shot and killed her six-year-old daughter, then turned the gun on herself. Family says the mother was having a difficult time dealing with child custody issues. Nguyen says the community should realize the collective trauma it endures after a tragedy. Family members who have lost dead, dead loved ones. We've got first responders who are witnessing these, these gruesome, uh, violent acts of death. Uh, hospital systems affected. Uh, schools affected. And in Channel View, reports of a 28-year-old man seen walking around minutes before in his apartment parking lot with a gun, shooting and killing his wife. Neighbors say there was a history of abuse, and they tried to help. She didn't really want to talk about it. I just I just told her, I said, you know, if you're in a bad situation, there's shelter. Experts say leaving a violent relationship can also present the most dangerous time for the victim. Regardless of the difficulty, friends and family should try to recognize the signs of mental decline or abuse respond to that person's need for help and refer help to them immediately. If you hear something, you say something, tell that survivor that I hear you, that you don't deserve this. Don't tell them you should just leave. That just shrouds them in more shame and isolation. Sadly, in both of these instances in the last 24 hours, teenage family members discovered their bodies. And this is something that they could use help with because that trauma, if untreated, could lead to several things like addiction, even inflicting that trauma upon someone else. Reporting from Houston, Sherman DeSalle, Fox 26 News. And if you or someone you know is struggling, there is help available. You can find a list of all the numbers you can call for support on our website, fox26houston.com.